Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Technique Tuesday. Today's episode is going to be a little bit different in that it's a little bit more of a thought in solemn skiing. It's a little bit more of an understanding topic, okay? So instead of me telling you to just bend your arms or relax your arms or something like that, it's going to hopefully help you understand your relationship with the boat, your relationship with your ski, and how to load that ski and be a little bit more efficient through the course. So this topic's kind of come around in that I was trying to film another video and I was explaining this kind of area and I was going quite in depth into it and thought actually this could probably have its own video. So here we are. So first of all, what is the concept? So I like to think about the whole body and our ski as a circuit, okay? It starts at our feet and it comes all the way through our body, arms, hips, handle, shoulders, and comes down the rope and into the pylon of the boat, okay? So I want you to think of that as a circuit. If we are 100% aligned, we are 100% in position, stacked on top of our ski, 100% of the power builds up in that ski, comes through our circuit and out the line. But what happens when we have a leak? Say our hips are back, say uh, we're on our back foot or we're bending our arms is a huge one. That means that that power isn't all making it through that circuit, okay? It's been wasted. So we start with 100% in that perfect position but we drop our hips back, we lose 20%. Or we bend our arms, we lose 30%. All these little things are leaks in our efficiency and our power, okay? So why does this matter? First of all, how do you accelerate? Take a second to think about it. How do you accelerate into that first wake? What should you be doing? It's very important to understand how you should be doing it, okay? And that's what I'm gonna try to explain. So it's very easy just to lean super hard, not really care about position, absolutely fly into that first wake. But the challenge of slalom is then what happens when we get to the edge change? What happens when we get to the wakes? Okay, it's all going to go to pot probably if you're just driving super, super hard. Or we can all stand there with a the perfect alignment and we can all trickle to the wake super slow. So how do we manage to get the position and the acceleration all together to match speed? So the way that I like to think about it is imagine my offside, my 135. I'm a right, obviously. As I'm coming through the finish of the board, I'm consciously thinking about where my feet are, where they're pointing, where my ski is pointing. OK, because wherever our feet are going, we want our hips to follow, we want our hips to be driving with those feet. OK, so as I hook up at the finish of that one through five and being conscious about where those feet are pointing, because that means how much angle we have. It doesn't mean we have to push our feet or twist our feet, but I'm being conscious of where they are. And I'm feeling that pressure build up in my feet. And as I stand tall and try to stay as aligned and keep that rotation going towards the wake as I can, that pressure should build up. If we feel our feet, we feel that pressure build up underneath our feet. And like we talked about earlier, we're not getting those leaks out of our hips or by pulling our arms. This is how we accelerate into the first wake, okay? And then the challenge from there is, like we mentioned earlier, is then taking that position and getting that all that pressure that we've built up, hopefully that 100% of pressure that we've kept going through that circuit, we then have to release that outward bound in our edge change. So I know I've said a lot of words today, um, but just to kind of summarize, what I want you to pull from this is use your feet. Don't just forget about them. They're so connected to the water. They're, they're our first sensory kind of feedback of what's going on. So use our feet, use angle, use that feel to get that acceleration into that first week. We can lean as much as we like. We can put all that pressure in our shoulders but if we're not driving that angle, if we're not resisting that water with our feet, with our lower body, it's going to make it harder. OK, so thank you very much for watching. Again, like always, if you have any questions, please feel free to drop them below in the comments and I'll answer them as well as I can. And if anyone has any recommendations for what they would like me to cover in the future weeks, please let me know either in the comments or send me a message. But thank you very much for watching and I hope you've learned something today.